Hey everyone, so today I decided that I would do a bit of a PetSmart follow me around. I've done videos like this before in the past and you guys really enjoyed them, so I decided that I would do another one for you. So some of this footage is going to be um, some conversation that I did actually have in the store with my mom because she was with me. And then some of it is going to be voiceover, just kind of depending on how the footage turned out and everything. That is probably the tank that I want in my future home. Because I think like it's big, but at the same time, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Yeah, it goes in the corner. It goes in the corner. I've always loved corner tanks, but I've never had one. But when I have my own place one day, I'd love to have that corner tank there. This is my favorite aisle when I go to PetSmart, just because I get to look at all of the tanks and small animals. Do you miss your birds, Mom? Yeah, they wanted to fly. Yep. They wanted to fly with the dogs. Pretty nice. I used to have pet budgies, and you might be able to hear them in some of my past videos, but we did eventually get rid of them for the okay. I still would like a hamster, but they're just so expensive. Like, not the hamster itself, but like... About a year ago, I was really interested in getting a hamster, and so I was doing a lot of research. And I thought it would be an affordable pet, but I quickly learned that after the bedding, the appropriate sized wheel, and adequate sized um, habitat for them, it actually came to be really expensive and it had a lot more monthly cost than fish. So as you know from my videos, I decided to not get a hamster. That would be the kind of hamster I got if I got a hamster. I just find them so cute. They have the reptiles right next to the small animals. However, they were pretty much all um, not there. Um, all the tanks were reserved, although they did have um, one little snake up at the top. And when I say reptiles, I mean reptile-ish animals. All of the fish are to the left of all the small animals you saw. They have all the rocks along the bottom and then have the fish just above them all along this one wall. PetSmarts do not have any salt fish, so it is all tropical fish and then small things like little frogs and hermit crabs. Or they have more colors now. They used to only have the green ones. Pretty interesting plants. Yeah. Hmm. I love how they have pink fish. I miss my tiger barb sometimes. Do you, mother? I actually like your better. It's the one fish in the big tank. Yep, pretty much. Well, you know, the more fish you got, the more work it is, but... Now my pet smart has two beta sections, and one of them is just right here beside the fish wall. And I find that this one generally has the nicer bettas because they're less picked through than the main area. So most of my bettas generally come from that section. Right across from the fish section and also right in front of where all the ornaments are sold, there is a display with all of the live plants that they have for sale, as well as some snails are in here too. I always thought these ornaments were kind of cool. Um, basically one part stays at the bottom of your tank and then the other part floats up just by a string. Um, I do think it's pretty cool, but I also think it's pretty expensive for the size of the ornament, so I've never bought it. I did try my best to get everything I want to show you on camera. However, it was kind of difficult because the aisle was very busy and I didn't want to get people on camera. So I was able to show you most of what I wanted to show you, but I wasn't able to get any full aisle shots. But I did try my best. On the other side of this aisle is just all of the smaller tanks and ones that doesn't come with stands. Um, but I wasn't able to get a shot of that aisle because... And now we're heading over to the more boring part of PetSmart. And this is just the light bulbs and other stuff like that, food, um, water condition, stuff like that. Um, but they do have the plants over here and the terrible, horrible crickets. Um, least favorite part of PetSmart. Um, but here they have the gems and also some of the large and small plants. I like this plant. I like this one. I have that plant. Well, do one of them. One? Yeah. Or maybe it's actually the purple one down there. But I do have it. Had a lot of these plants and I've gotten rid of a lot of these plants. 
a lot of the small plants were 99 cents and I went on a rampage and bought a lot and then I realized I had way too many for me to deal with so I sold them. I love this pink one right here. I now make sure I really love the planter ornament before I buy it. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, that's adorable. You little angel. I like the one that says, oh dear. That's so cute. You a bathtub. I know you can make it look like a little house. Oh, and then they can chew on these. They're also yeah. a chew. That's adorable. One thing I will quickly say is that those cages are not adequate full-time housing for your hamster. However, they do make excellent travel cages. Now moving on to the beta section, and this is the main beta section, but in this video it is the second one that I am showing you. And like I said, these bettas generally don't look as good as the one in the back. More of the fancier bettas are shown here, and the veil tails are more in the back. Down along the side is the kind of like the terrarium ornaments on one side and then the bird ornaments um, and cages on the left of this aisle. Then right at the end of this aisle is the cats on display and all of the cats are from our local humane society. And right now they seem to have all kittens and they're really adorable. I love cats, but unfortunately I am allergic so I will never get one. His name is Drizzle and Slushy. So cute. Oh, they're snuggling. No. Tom and Finn. This is oh. Kevin. One oh. of those Kevin. Oh, hi Kevin. Kevin and Evan. Oh. Kevin and Evan. Now moving down the next aisle is just the rodent items and also the cat items on the right. Um, and I'm just going through these aisles quickly simply because they are not related to fish or any aquatic animal. If you're noticing the odd Christmas item, um, this video was filmed back in December. We were actually at PetSmart looking for Christmas things to get my pets for Christmas. Yeah. Very girly. Very girly, but I don't know. I like, I like the Let It Snow uh, fish or whatever this is. I think it's a whale. Sure. The little ones, I know they've Aw. Yeah, with your spot. Oh, could you imagine Kylie running around with this collar on? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you'll just have to get them a a new toy that doesn't have like a what am I trying to say? Like get them a new toy that's not Christmas themed, it's just their Christmas present. We ended up buying them a stuffed Santa toy and a stuffed elf toy that we ended up finding actually near the checkout. These Nyla Bone dog toys are some of my dog's favorites, so since they were on sale we decided to get a few as well. So that little sock monkey, I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> Interesting thing. Okay, these are cute. Yeah. <laughs> but that is the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this follow me around. I do have a few others and I'll put them in the i cards and also at the end screen for you to check out. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. But that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.